And uh, there wouldn't have been no match between me and the people he fought. They were slow, uh, out of shape looking, fat, and they punched from the floor up, and they fought like that, and they run across the ring, and before the man get up, they hit each other, like, and there wasn't no skill, and you couldn't rank me with the people he fought. Y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, John Jones is a vicious killer. John Jones is psycho. Don't let the smile and the good guy and the uh, approach and the beard fool y'all. John Jones is one of the hateful eight, y'all. We did a video some months ago or weeks ago called Fighters with Vitriol. John Jones is in there. As a matter of fact, we mentioned him twice. John Jones fights with angst and he fights with an urgency to destroy you. I mean, he's very, he has a lot of malice and piss and vinegar in his blood, man. Do not let the smile fool you. John Jones, you ain't fooling me with that good guy Christian act. Talking about I'm American Christian. Man, y'all, if it wasn't for fighting, if it wasn't for combat arts, John Jones would be a Navy SEAL or Green Beret or a high-level Marine or a psycho killer, serial killer, or... um uh, a gorilla pimp or like, he would be some type of you know a fur trapper or something maybe in another time he'd, he'd be out there in the woods man just you know killing up folks just stringing them up animals yeah but yeah y'all John Jones I knew from the very well, from the beginning from the first round no no disrespect to Steve A. Mill chick uh after about the first two minutes, I was like, wow. I told everybody it was going to last, only last two rounds, but it wound up going three. But well, man, when he took Miocic down, and, and, and the way they hit each other, I said, man, these dudes, they got to be on cocaine or something. I saw the way they was eating them headshots from one another. I said, damn. Now, I could see that. Well, look, I'll get to that later. But they, will, they, they exchanged some pretty heavy headshots. John Jones, cerebral like he is, man, attacking the front leg, um, kicking the stomach, the gut, the ribs, ki kidneys, rib cage, um, circling. Um, John Jones' head movement was actually much better than I expected, too. But, man, once he took Steve Pay down, y'all, I actually thought he was going to end in the first when I saw it. Do you see well, how much hate and passion he was throwing them elbows? I mean, like, 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 Stipe owed him a thousand dollars or something. I mean, John Jones headbutt the man's stomach, elbowing him in the stomach. He headbutt his stomach, punched him in the stomach, and he was just coming over the top of, <clears throat> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like somebody you've been wanting to pound on for years. That's how he was hitting him with the bows. And I'm surprised he made it out the first round. Second round, he was a little gassed. Uh, Stipe, um, he, he stung him with a few of them rights. And John Jones, um, he, he's he's intelligent, y'all. He just he just reminds me of Hannibal Lecter or somebody. The way he just casually walks and do, runs off, he kind of jogged away when he was getting tagged, reset, got his game plan back, and then the ending, that vicious, uh, spinning, uh, body kick. Look, might have cracked some ribs or kidney. I don't know. That spinning body kill, ooh, right on the side of Steve A's stomach, and he dropped London Bridge off, falling down. He fell like a ton of bricks, like dominoes. John Jones came over, pounced on him, gave him another two, three punches. Herb Dean rightfully so stopped it. Rightfully so. Self and throwing jabs and hooks don't mean nothing. You have to be able to fake and know how to maneuver when you're in trouble. So, John Jones, I'm so glad he said what he said after the fight. I'm so glad that he said he, he he'll continue on. Because I would have been so mad if he'd have retired after that little cherry pick. You know stipe has been out for some time. Like, if you're going to fight somebody heavyweight, dog, you, you need to be fighting the interim young champion, Aspinall, from, from England. Shout out to Tom Aspinall. You need to be fighting Francis Ngannou for a big payday. Somebody who we know, if, if they touch you, your ass could be asleep. You need to be fighting um, 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 Paul Tan, Alexander Pereira. And some type of super fight, you know, Shama, you know, Alexander Pereira, you know, something like that, John Jones. He, John Jones, his pro West is just through the roof. The man's never been defeated in the ring. Never. 
if you look at his record, his only two losses and no, excuse me. He has one disqualification, one loss, one he lost on illegal strikes to um, when he beat up Matt Hamill with the elbow strikes. And one after he knocked out Cormier, he had, what, cocaine or something in the system or some type of flushing agent. Anywho, the man's never been defeated in the ring. Now, he had a few close ones, but the man's never been defeated. Arguably the greatest MMA fighter ever, y'all. I mean, he's up there in the top three, five. I mean, the dude took on all challenges. He's been undisputed. He just went up through the ranks and just smashed everybody from all of our, all of our favorite fighters, Rampage and Makita. And, and he just went in there and just made them look like children. I mean, he just went in there, took their neck, snapped it. You know, along came a spider. I mean, he's that dude. Yeah, so I really hope he uh, gives us two, three more fights. And I hope they're super fights because I would really love to see him. You can tell he used to be at a lighter weight. Like his upper body and his legs still kind of hold the middle weight, light heavyweight. But that stomach, he got like a big stomach. Like a, <laughs> he just let it. But man, but those hands, he is lethal. Lethal weapon. Oh yeah, shout out to Oliveira, man. Oliveira, that, that dude. Wow. He, he's amazing to watch too. He, his, his grappling skill is through the roof. You can't get rid of him. The dude is like an octopus. He got like eight, nine limbs. He, if he attacks from all angles, wow, man. <laughs> that, that dude is amazing to watch. Y'all, shout outs to Donald J. Trump. Trump was at the fight, sitting there like he was a commentator. He had his own little desk, ain't it? Trump was there. And Elon Musk, look, what's up with his face? Is his face real, y'all? I see Elon Musk's face, I be wanting to punch a hole in it. I don't, he don't look like he real. Like if I if you snatch it off, it's a robot behind there or something. And he talks strange. I I think he's Canadian or British or something. But yeah, Donald Trump was there. But y'all, but if y'all remember, y'all back in the day, Donald Trump was a huge fan of combat sports. Cause the people I was watching the wick kept, why is Donald Trump there? It's so strange for a president. I said, dog, he's been doing this for years. He used to come out to the ring with Iron Mike, with Don King, and. And a lot of those buildings people were fighting and he owned them. You know, he's a, he's a huge fight fan. That's that's one knock I got against Donald Trump's cabinet. He got all these business oriented people like Elon Musk and what's the chick Gates or something like these. I mean, I know he's a business tycoon, business mogul. So I just better do the best things for these country, man. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, John Jones, John Jones is the man. Vitriol. Piss, Vinegar, um, you know, Masterclass, and I hope he fights Aspinall or Nganu or uh, Alejandro Alexander Pereira. The only fights I want to see him in, y'all, personally. I don't want to see him fight no up-and-coming kid, no up-and-coming contender. I don't want them to bring nobody else out of retirement to fight him. I want to see him fight one of those three men. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Shout out to the card. I hope you had a beautiful weekend, and uh, we'll holler on the flip side. Peace. So there's no only way they could beat me would be to luck up and knock me cold, which is something that never happened. Statistics show that most likely they never would do that.